What's going on, you 3D modeling beast? This is JL Musi, and I wanted to make this video uh, about the ArtStation uh, NFT situation that's going on. I'm getting a lot of emails, a lot of messages, a lot of people hitting me up on social media wanting to know what's going on. And a lot has transpired between ArtStation, uh, their cancellation of their NFT program, and a lot of pissed off ArtStation users. So I'm gonna break down the situation, what's going on, and maybe what this means for artists moving forward. If you've never heard of NFTs, I have no idea what they are, I'm gonna give you a quick explanation, but the main focus of this video is gonna be ArtStation and the cancellation of their NFT platform. Uh, NFTs uh, came into a lot of popularity, uh, I would say uh, late last year when Beeple uh, decided to partner up with Christie's, the famous auction house, uh, and they actually decided to make uh, digital tokens. So it actually allowed an artist like Beeple to deem his digital work as uh, unique, as original via that use of the NFT token. So uh, NFTs are non-fungible tokens. They are a derivative or they work off the back end of the Ethereum blockchain network. If any of you guys are into crypto, you know that one of the powers of blockchain technology is through that ledger and being able to track those digital uh, transactions. And essentially any uh, digital artist can create an NFT based on the digital artwork and whoever buys that NFT um, is actually uh, being able to verify the originality of those files. So through the NFT, uh, Beeple's work was being able to be tracked as the original artwork and therefore it gave it a lot more value, almost like somebody buying a original artwork, uh, say like the Mona Lisa, right? Because now that NFT can verify the uh, original files of that creator and you have a original item that is able to be tracked through that ledger. So let's go ahead and move on uh, and talk about what happened with ArtStation. So ArtStation decided to come out with their platform. They had selected artists. Uh, some artists were from Halo, some were from Magic the Gathering, and they were gonna use their very popular um, platform, ArtStation, to actually create NFTs and partner up with artists and hopefully make some money for themselves by charging pretty much a transaction fee. And then also the artists were gonna go ahead and make money themselves. Uh, upon this news, uh, they got a lot of backlash uh, uh, from the community. I'm gonna go ahead and actually just read some of the tweets that were out there. Um, there's been a lot of articles, and the crazy thing about this, guys, is that if you actually look ArtStation NFT, um, you'll pretty much see that everything was scrapped away from their blog post to a lot of articles uh, basically saying uh, or documenting their actual launch. Now, those same articles are talking about the cancellation of the NFT platform via ArtStation. This one's from the Cointelegraph, and it's actually just highlighting uh, what some people were saying about the uh, NFT launch uh, from ArtStation. People uh, were basically saying that they bullied ArtStation and not selling NFTs. And then this one, uh, and I think this is what kind of got uh, ArtStation spooked, and they actually uh, pushed this back a lot of artists and users were actually saying they're going to cancel their subscription uh, because of the ecological footprint, NFT, uh, which are derivative of the Ethereum uh, blockchain technology. Um, they can leave a big uh, ecological footprint, right? It does take a lot of power, a lot of computing uh, to actually process all these transactions. And this is a big reason why ArtStation got a lot of backlash from the artist community within ArtStation. Uh, because of this big ecological footprint, uh, a lot of users were actually threatening to uh, cancel their um, ArtStation membership. If you're not sure what ArtStation is, ArtStation is a big artist community, a big platform, and users, mainly artists, actually pay to have different subscriptions. You can have a free subscription where you can upload your work for free, have it hosted there. If you want certain perks, like extra visibility, and a lot of other, uh, in my opinion, great features you have to pay. It's roughly uh, about $80 a month. I'm sorry, $80 a year for the ArtStation Pro account. And, you know, some artists, upon hearing the news, uh, they weren't really pleased and they pretty much threatened ArtStation 
that they were going to cancel their subscription. So upon hearing the news, uh, our station decided to pretty much roll that back and they decided to cancel the NFT platform for the time being. So I definitely want to hear your feedback in the comments down below on this situation. Was uh, ArtStation right all along with their NFT platform and maybe thinking that this was going to benefit uh, 3D artists and digital artists as a whole and providing a extra way of creating revenue? Or maybe you think the backlash was well suited and that ArtStation made the right move by scrapping the NFT platform and really just thinking about the ecological footprint that increased NFT usage uh, through their platform was going to create. So definitely drop those comments down below. Let me know if you guys want to hear more about NFTs in the channel. And until we meet again, folks, I will catch you guys next time.